Do you dream of flying in first class but can't afford to spend six to ten thousand dollars one way? Then stay tuned. Good morning. From Lisbon Airport, it's very early morning, four o'clock. I went up at 2.30. That's not very nice, but my flight leaves at 5.10 with Lufthansa to Frankfurt. And today I'm flying Lufthansa to Frankfurt and connecting to Washington DC uh, in first class. So that's a lot of excitement building up. The first leg this morning takes me to Frankfurt on an A321 in business class. You'll be sitting in a standard economy seat just with that little bit of extra space because nobody's sitting in the middle seat. And there is some breakfast being served on this flight too. As it was rather uninspiring, I didn't even film it. But of course, the more important leg is still to come. I must admit that I'm generally a thrifty person. So I will show you a way to fly first class for a reasonable price that worked out for me and might be working out for you as well. Lufthansa releases some first class award spaces to their Starlines partner airlines on short notice, like a couple of days to two weeks before the flight maybe. But I'm not sitting on a pile of cash or frequent traveler miles to spend. But some frequent travel programs allow you to purchase miles. I chose to buy miles with Avianca's program called Life Miles. They seem to have the best deals almost every month and you'll get a bonus of up to 160% of the miles you pay for. Look at this example here. Don't be picky with your destination, because the water availability can be very scarce. Here I found a flight from Munich to Washington for 87,000 miles plus $137 taxes and fees. As this amount is zone based, you can get the price down by adding another flight or two in the same zone in a lower cabin class requiring less miles, reducing the required miles to 85,710. You will also notice that fees and taxes went down to $13, although this amount is actually incorrect and will be recalculated during the booking process later on. Departing from Lisbon remains a lot cheaper than departing from Munich. So how much did I pay altogether? I paid 1,100 US dollars for two and a half hours in business class, four hours stay in the luxurious first class terminal in Frankfurt and eight hours in first class. Is it worth it? I say yes, absolutely. But what do you think? Feel free to tell everyone down in the comments section. I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with Frankfurt Airport. This time I was able to head straight to Lufthansa's first class terminal, which looks rather unimpressive from outside, but what a treat it is! Welcome to Europe's only designated first class terminal. The Lufthansa first class terminal here in Frankfurt. The only Lufthansa product that is really five star is obviously is obviously the first class product. And this first class terminal is no exception. You can enjoy um, plenty of wonderful seating. Um, you have a full restaurant, um, sleeping rooms, shower rooms, uh, and everything, and a huge bar. So it's really something to enjoy. I really had a wonderful time at the first class terminal and also made use of the restaurant section to enjoy a delicious Wiener Schnitzel. After completing the exclusive passport control, they will take you straight to the aircraft in either a Porsche or minibus. Can't wait to get inside. Although not the latest and most modern cabin design, the cabin still looks amazing with a lot of amenities waiting for me at my seat, which is one alpha today. 
an important part of a first-class experience should always be the catering. Lufthansa is offering an impressive meal service including a caviar course. I would show you the menu cards, but they haven't been printed and delivered to the aircraft in time. don't remember all the food items that were served, but they were plentiful and delicious. Okay, three hours into the flight. Uh, the meal is already out of the way. It was quite fantastic to be honest. All in all a great flight here with Lufthansa in first class on their Boeing 747-8. Of course, there is a turndown service that creates a very comfortable place to lie down for the next couple of hours. But too soon it was time to wake up and add some more food to the stomach of the starving traveller. This time my choice is a German cold platter. The final thing to do on this wonderful flight was watching the sunset as we approach Washington DC. After a quick visit to the flight deck, after landing it was time to say goodbye to the amazing crew and the queen of the skies. So in first class Lufthansa hands out quite a few of amenities. Uh, we got nice slippers, we got a pyjama, um, we got a rubber duck from the first class terminal in Frankfurt and of course an amenity kit which also serves as um, a storage box for watches. Let's see what's inside the amenity kit. So this is it. Despite the indeed very nice um, box, you also get um, well standard amenities like uh, socks, an eye mask, a comb, um, a dental set, um, some peppermints, earbuds, a shoe horn, um, and of course some skin cream, they call it skin caviar. Since 2022 you can get to the city from Dallas airport by metro. It takes at least one hour. The metro is very modern and easy to navigate. I am staying at the very cool, bright and colourful Citizen M Hotel. Okay, that's my room for the next two nights in Washington DC. So in this room you can control everything with your iPad, including the lights, there we go, but also the colors, look at this. So you can change the colors. <laughs> to this nice one. You can play all day. So let's explore the capital of the United States of America. 
Union Station is one of its famous landmarks. Originally opened in 1908, it has undergone a major restoration in the 1980s. The capital is the seat of the United States Congress and another famous landmark. For me, it felt a bit strange to look at that building with the pictures in mind of the madness that took place in January 2021. I'm making my way down the mall with its many museums. This is the fish market at The Wharf, where I enjoyed a New England clam chowder. It's a nice area to explore with a boat harbor and a ton of restaurants. But let's make use of the abundance of museums. Most of them are free of charge, some might require you to book a slot online. So this is the Air and Space Museum. And as the name suggests, it's all about aviation and astronautics. A great place for everyone wishing to learn about air and space travel. There are museums for every taste, so pick your favorite ones. A visit to DC would not be complete without catching a glimpse of the White House. So that was my trip to Washington in first class. Check out my other adventures and please subscribe, there's more to come soon.